I don't care how you feel. I never should have married you. I don't care if you were pregnant. I never should have married you. What a mistake it was ever getting mixed up with a girl like you. Oh, like you're some great guy or something. Why don't you go look in the mirror, buddy? Hey, look, you can say whatever you want because I'm out of here. I don't want anything to do with you or that kid ever again. Do you hear me? I don't want anything to do with either one of them. Hey, look, I can do whatever I want because I can, and I don't care a thing about you. You ain't got me. Me? You're the biggest loser on the face of this earth. You can't hold the time. You're always getting shot. Hey, look, I hate you, and I hate that kid. And you're never going to see me. Ever. I hate that kid. I hate that kid. I hate that kid. I've been watching you tonight. In fact, you were the first person I noticed when I walked through the door. Even caught you looking my way one time. I got a good feeling about you and me. What do you say we get together tonight? Just you and me? What do you say? Drop dead. Jackson, you got some customers. They've had it. Uh, I'm hungry. Man, me too. Give me a bacon cheeseburger with the works. Well done, Jackson. No pink. Medium rare, got it. Yeah, you got it. Make sure he's got it. Well done. I always make sure, don't I? You're all right, Patty. Coming from you? That means absolutely nothing. <laughs> hey, lady, just for that no tip. You never leave a tip. And you never leave your phone number. Smart girl. <laughs> yeah, I heard that, Jackson. I'll pretend that I didn't. God loves you, man. Don't you know that God loves you? How was your girlfriend doing today? Cute as ever. You see her? Oh, yeah. Might be the last time, though. What do you mean? He's kidding. I'll have a date with her by next week. <laughs> sure you will. He'll be looking for a new job next week. Get out of here. Why? What happened? Nothing. Nothing. Did I miss some excitement today? Not a thing. Tell him. He needs a good laugh. Look, man, it's not worth repeating. Tell him. He'll love it. Yeah, tell me. Tell me. OK. So you know she works in the office, right? Well, I've been going by and, uh, you know, paying her a little visit every day after I punch in. This one likes me, man. She really likes me. Oh, sure she does, man. She runs like a rabbit every time you get near her. That's because she likes me. She's just playing hard to get. Oh, is that what it is? 
Yeah, that's what it is. Look, man, you need to stay away from her. She ain't seeing it your way. Hey, Riley, who asked you, man? Hey, I'm just trying to help you. You need to lay off. What's it to you? I I'm just having a little fun with her. But she ain't seeing it that way. It ain't fun to her. What are you, man? Her guardian angel? Look, Larry, I told you before. I know this girl. We go to the same Bible study together, and she even asked the people there to pray for her that this guy at work would stop harassing her. Harassing her? Who's harassing her? You are, man. By saying hello? Come on, man, give me a break. What does this girl think? She's better than everybody? She doesn't think that. Ah, I know what it is. It's because she's religious, and I'm a heathen. Surprised you know what that word means. Well, I'll pretend I didn't hear that, you fake. Look, man. She's not interested in dating someone who's not a Christian. Well, then, I guess it's her who's acting like a heathen, then. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians... Hey, man, I don't care what the Bible says. But she does. I'm just trying to help you, man. Well, if you really want to help me, get me her phone number. Hey, Larry. Yeah? Crenshaw wants to see you. For me? Yeah, you. The guy with the tie. Yeah. Go on, I'll take over. Please, come in and take a seat. There's a young lady in our office that says that you've been harassing her. I don't know what you're talking about, man. Well, come on, Larry. Don't play dumb with me. Hey, you know my name. I'm impressed. We want you to leave her alone. Don't say hello to her. Don't speak to her. Don't even wave to her. Act like she's not even here. Do you understand? I ain't bothered anybody, OK? I just come in, do my job, you know, punch in, punch out. We don't need any trouble around here. Just leave the girl alone. That's all we're asking. You're asking me to do something I'm already doing. Just tell me you'll leave the girl alone. The girl's lying. She's not lying. I told you, I ain't bothering her, OK? You got yourself a little devil there. She's a nice Christian girl. The girl's a liar. Look, Larry, I'm trying to keep this from going any further. Lawyers take these things very seriously, and they run with them. We don't need it, and neither do you. Besides. This girl operates a computer that you don't even know how to turn on. It's not a hard decision if this thing goes any further. Have I made myself clear? Do you hear me? I got ears, man. You gotta be kidding me. Just because you say hi to the girl Crenshaw called you into his office? Man, what is this, grade school? He's another idiot. He must have offended her religious rights or something. So what'd you say to him? Just what I told you. She's a liar. What do you say? Nothing. It's my word against hers. Is that word in it? Yeah. I said it was nice talking to you and walked out. Of course, I made sure and said hello to my girl, though, after I left his office. <laughs> You're <laughs> unbelievable, man. No, man. It's Riley and Crenshaw and that secretary who are unbelievable. They're all a bunch of fakes. Every one of them. Hey, man. God loves you, man. Do you know that God loves you? Do you know that God sent his only son, Jesus, to die on the cross for your sins, man? All right, Jackson, your life is on the line tonight. This better be cooked exactly the way I like it. Hey, it's your life is on the line tonight. You just don't know it yet. Jackson, you get to live another day. Uh-huh. Have a great night. Hey, you ready? Oh, yeah. It's party time for this girl. Hey, Patty, who's your friend? Bye, guys. Hey, how you doing? What's your name? See you, Jackson. Have a good one. Come on, what's your name? Goodbye. Hey. Hey, man. God loves you, man. Do you know that God loves you, man? Yeah, yes, I do. Do you know that God gave his only son, Jesus, to die on the cross for your sins? Yes. Do you know that Jesus died and was buried and rose again on the third day according to scriptures? Do you know this man? Yeah. Now I have to warn you, there are a lot of people out there who know facts about Jesus, but they ain't going to heaven when they die. The question is, have you done anything about what you know? 
Yes, I have. Have you realized that you are a sinner and Jesus is the one who can forgive you of your sins? Have you repented towards God and put your faith in Jesus alone for the forgiveness of your sins and received him in your life as your Lord and Savior? Have you done that, man? Yeah, I have. Oh, that's good to hear. That's good to hear. You know, life is like being on a boat. When you have Jesus in your life, you own Noah's Ark. But when you don't have Jesus in your life, you own the Titanic. <laughs> Do you hear me, man? Yeah, I hear you. Jesus is the only way to the Father in heaven. The only way. I hear you. You have to live for eternity, not the weekend. Deny thyself, follow Jesus. I hear you. God loves you, man. God loves you. God loves you. I hear you, man. I hear you. God loves you. Jackson, you got a customer. Hey man, the bacon cheeseburger is really good. I got a little left if you want to try it. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? Good. How are you? What can I get you? He wants a bacon cheeseburger. Loaded. I have to put up with that idiot every night. Uh, I'm gonna get the chicken sandwich, fries, and iced tea, please. Okay, just a few minutes. Hey, man, how you doing? What's your name? Name's Larry, what's yours? <laughs> Come on, man, what's your name? What's the matter? Is he uh, deaf? I mean, he's got to have a name, right? Oh, now look, Larry, you made him mad. He's leaving. He ain't leaving. Man, what are you doing? Hey, let me get you some sugar, man. Jackson serves his tea unsweetened. Leave the customer alone, Larry. What are you getting on me for, man? I'm just trying to be friendly. Just cook the guy's food, will ya? I gotta put up with that idiot every night. God loves you. Now ain't that nice. Ain't that nice. Oh yeah, nice. Real nice. Too bad that it's a lie. Hey, Jesus. That's his name. Jesus. <laughs> hey, Jesus. This fell out of your pocket when you got up. Yeah, fell out of his pocket when he got up. You know, Jesus is a popular name. I hear it all the time in the movies. Yeah, I hear it a lot of work, too. Yeah, some of those guys say it every other breath. It even comes out of my mouth every once in a while. Hey, Jesus. This fell out of your pocket when you got up. You can have it. Gee, thanks, but I'm not religious. Neither am I. Well, what are you then? A Christian. A Christian? What's a Christian? Like, you know, Larry, one of those guys that believes in Jesus. The, uh, the devil believes in Jesus. He's not a Christian. So, uh, what's a Christian then? Hey, the exact opposite of you, Larry. Now leave the guy alone. Hey, I just asked him a question. The man says that he's a Christian. All the Christians that I know are all fakes, man. Ain't that right, guys? The Christians that we know down at the factory? Yep, right. They're always preaching. Of course, they never do what they tell us to do, but they just keep on preaching anyway. Don't they, guys? Yep. Yeah. You like that, man? Is that the way you are? You tell people what to do, but you don't do it yourself? 
You a hippo man? A hypocrite? No. Hey, we got us a real Christian here then. Yeah, we can spot a fake a mile away, huh, man? Yeah, we sure can spot a phony. Even Jackson can spot a hippo, can't you, man? A hippopotamus, yeah. They got him at the zoo, Larry, right where you belong. <laughs> hey, tell me, uh, Jesus, why are all those uh, Christians down at the factory fakes, man? Larry? No, no, no. Tell me. I want to know. I don't know. Maybe they're all hippopotamuses. <laughs> <laughs> we got us a cute Christian here. Real cute. I'll tell you why you guys are all fakes, man. Because the Bible stuff, it ain't real to you, man. It's, it's something you heard, something you were taught, or say you believe, but you really don't. Preach to him, Larry. Yeah, I'll preach to him. You think people like us are stupid, or, or we don't notice anything? Well, you're wrong, man. We got this guy down at the factory, this dude named uh, Riley. I mean, he's always quoting the Bible, man. He's got a couple of buddies, too. These guys really think that they got the answers. They keep telling us that if we don't get saved, that we're going to hell when we die. Now, what is that, man? I mean, is that the Christian thing to say? Tell him, Larry. Yeah, I'll tell him. Now, if you guys really believe that, if you really believe that we were going to hell when we died, you would do everything in your power to keep us from going there. Am I right? Am I right? Right. Sure I am. You would do whatever it took, but you don't, because the Bible stuff, it ain't real to you, man. Hey, Larry, since this is such a big deal to you, then why don't you go out there on the street and keep all those people from going to hell? Look, I don't even believe in this stuff, man. I'm just trying to show you that these Christians don't either. I'll prove it to you. Tell me, Jesus, am I gonna go to hell when I die? Larry, give the guy a break. He ain't looking for no trouble. Hey, I ain't causing no trouble. You always causing trouble. I just want to see if this Christian is uh, real enough to tell me that I'm going to go to hell when I die. Sit down. Hey, Jesus, am I going to go to hell when I die? Larry. Am I going to hell when I die? Larry. Hey, Jesus, am I going to go to hell when I die? I guess not. Told you, man. Another phony. Look, I'm sorry, sir, but I told you he was an idiot. Hey, we keep you in business around here, all right? I'm sorry, sir. You going to hell when you die, Larry? No, man, I ain't going to hell. You? <laughs> Not me. There ain't no hell. No? No, it's just a lie somebody made up. Hey, maybe this thing says something about it. God loves you. God loves you and has a wonderful plan for your life. That plan started in the beginning when God created heaven and earth. He created Adam and Eve as the first people, but they sinned and caused a spiritual separation between God and man. As a result of Adam's sin, everyone born into the world is a sinner, separated from God and unless redeemed will die in their sins and go to hell. Hey, this thing says everybody's going to hell. We're all going to hell. I ain't going to hell, man. I ain't no sinner. Man, you're the biggest sinner I know. Everybody's a sinner, man. Don't you know anything? Except for Jesus over there. Even if everybody is a sinner, there still ain't no hell. Well, what if there is? I mean, what if uh, hell's real? What if there really is a hell? What if there really is a, a hell? I bet you... There's a lot of people there right now, screaming like crazy. I bet you there's a lot of, a lot of church people there, wondering where they went wrong. Now they're burning, burning and screaming, burning and screaming, <sighs> wanting to get out, but they can't hoping it will end, but it won't. Never will. Yeah. If hell's real, it's loaded with people. And nine out of ten of them were church members. But 
since Christians don't believe in hell. <laughs> Why should we? Hey, Jackson, what's taking so long for that order? Jesus is hungry. It's coming. Well, hurry up. Jesus has got some preaching to do. He's got to get some people newborn. Born again. Yeah, that's it. That's what those guys say. Born again. Born again. What's born again? It's big business for those religious guys. That's what it is. Everybody in the world is born a sinner. And because of that, they're spiritually dead. A dead man needs life. Needs to be born again. It's a, it's a spiritual birth. Oh, come on, man. Give me a break. I mean, what kind of a god makes everybody a sinner right from the start? Most people don't know they're spiritually dead. It's because they're spiritually dead. They never think about it. They just don't know. They're, uh, they're, they're blinded by sin. <laughs> sin. Don't give me this sin business, man. Sin's a killer. It's killing everybody. It's 100% fatal. It's the, uh, it's the disease that eventually gets everybody. Look, man, forget the religious pitch, all right? Yeah, man. We watch some of those religious shows, see those people falling all over the place, acting crazy, jumping all around. Is that being born again? Looks like a circus to me, man. A bunch of idiots. Yeah, I watch that stuff when I want a good laugh. <laughs> People are stupid, man. They'll believe anything. The Bible says you must be born again. But what is it? Is it acting crazy like he said? Nah, that's, that's got nothing to do with it. Then what is it? And I don't understand what you're saying. He doesn't understand what he's saying. It's like I said, it's a spiritual birth. You need to seek God. Read the Bible. Read about Christ. He's the one who said it. It's in the book of John. Third chapter. Third verse. There they go with those verses again. Sounds just like Riley. So, uh, what religion are you, man? You, uh, you a Baptist? A Catholic? A Holy Roller? <laughs> those are denominations. They're meaningless the day you die and stand before God. Hey, man, when I die, I'm not going to be standing before God. I'm going to be standing right next to him, pointing my finger at all you religious fakes and hypocrites. If you're standing next to God, we all in trouble. What was that, Jackson? I can't hear you. I got something in my ear. So your order's taking a little longer than I expected. Just a couple more minutes. I still don't understand this born-again business. That's exactly what it is. A business. Forget about it, man. It's not important. He seems to think it is. So does Riley. What does that tell you? Well, you know, Riley was telling me today that Jesus is coming back. When? Today. Jesus is coming back today? No, he was telling me today that Jesus is coming back. When's he coming? Well, I don't know. What do I care? Hey, Jesus. When's a big comeback, huh? When's a big day, man? One day Christ will return to Earth. When? Soon. Soon? Oh, like when? Uh, 2 a.m.? Or... <laughs> World's gonna have some rough days ahead. Really bad. All kinds of uh, chaos, trouble, and confusion. A lot of different voices. People won't know who's telling the truth. There'll be lies and, and deception everywhere. God's gonna pour out his wrath on all mankind. Oh, like we're scared now. And we should be. God means business. His patience is running out. Look, Jesus, the only thing religion has ever been is a scare tactic so that people could make a buck. That's all it's ever been. Christ is real and the end is coming. Each one of us is going to die. Me, you, them, everybody. You can't stop it. It's going to happen. And one of these days, we're going to step out of time and into eternity. We've got to know what's ahead after that. The 
Bible says it's heaven or hell. There's no other choice. And you believe the Bible? Yeah, every word. <laughs> well, that's your problem then. Have you read it? <laughs> read the Bible. You'll know the truth. Take some time and read it. You don't need anybody else. Just you and God. You read the Bible. God will show you the truth. The truth will make you free. Yeah, the truth will make you free. But it ain't free. It'll cost you a few dollars, huh? I mean, every one of those religious shows, man, they're always asking for dollars. It's about the money. Okay, Larry, religion class is over. Now let the guy eat. He's the one who's preaching at us. Hey, but you started. Now I mean it. Let him eat. Okay, let him eat. Let him eat. I'm sorry it took so long, sir. This guy thinks that he's, uh, he's got all the answers, too. Man, let people believe what they want to believe, man. So many wackos out there. People are stupid, man. They're just stupid. They can't see that these people are making some big money. They're only in it for themselves. Just for themselves. Hey, wait a minute, Jesus. Did you, uh, did you order any for us? I mean, you call yourself a Christian, but you didn't even think of uh, sharing with your friends, huh? Hey, you guys, you, uh, you want any fries? Any, anything like no? What kind of sandwich you get here, huh? Uh, chicken? Nah, don't want any. Hey, enjoy your meal, Jesus. Thank God for your food. <laughs> How old are you, Larry? 32. Well, why? Add 100 years to your life. How old will you be? 132. Where will you be? God loves you. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. No way, man. It's a lie. No, it's the truth. God loves you. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. You think God loves me, huh? Yes. You tell me how. How come my old man walked out on me when I was seven years old and I haven't seen him since? But you tell me that God loves me, huh? Daddy! How come my mama spent her whole life scrubbing toilets to pay the rent? But you're telling me that God loves me? How come uh, I've been in and out of jail my whole life? More times than you can count, but you tell me that God loves me. How come I've been working in some factory my whole life, but you're telling me that God loves me, huh? How come I ain't got no wife? I ain't got no kids? I haven't even had a girlfriend, but you're telling me that God loves me, huh? Drop dead. How come my life has been trash ever since the day I've been born, but you tell me that God loves me? Tell me how! Larry, leave him alone, you idiot. Are you okay, sir? Are you okay? Go on, Larry, get out of here. I'm sorry, sir. He is a complete idiot. I am so sorry. Are you okay? Are you sure? Are you okay, sir? I am so sorry. Are you sure you're okay? Are you sure? Are you, Are you sure? Hey, 
look, Larry. He ain't got no car, man. He's walking. He never answered your question, man. He never answered your question. Hey, Jackson! Jackson, man, what do we owe you? You guys don't owe me anything. Get out of here. Come on, man, what do we owe you? We're in a hurry. I said you don't owe me anything. Get out of here. Come on, Jackson, what do we owe you, man? You don't owe me anything. How come? Because Jesus just paid your bill. Hey, hey man, God loves you, man. Do you know that God loves you, man? Yes, I do. Do you know that God gave his only son, Jesus, to die on the cross for your sins? Yes. Do you know that Jesus died and was buried and rose again on the third day according to scriptures? Do you know this man? Yeah. Now, I have to warn you, there are a lot of people out there who know facts about Jesus, but they ain't going to heaven when they die. The question is, have you done anything about what you know? Yes, I have. Have you realized that you are a sinner and Jesus is the one who can forgive you of your sins? Have you repented towards God and put your faith in Jesus alone for the forgiveness of your sins and received him in your life as your Lord and Savior? Have you done that, man? Yeah, I have. Oh, that's good to hear. That's good to hear. You know, life is like being on a boat. When you have Jesus in your life, you own Noah's Ark. But when you don't have Jesus in your life, you own the Titanic. <laughs> Do you hear me, man? Yeah, I hear you. Jesus is the only way to the Father in heaven. The only way. I hear you. You have to live for eternity, not the weekend. Deny thyself and follow Jesus. I hear you. God loves you, man. God loves you. Hey, God loves you. I hear you, man. I hear you. God loves you.